On March 5, 1959, 21 black teenagers died in a building fire after being left alone and locked inside of their dormitory at a neglected and segregated reform school in Arkansas. The children were living at the Negro Boys Industrial School, NBIS, a juvenile work farm located just outside the predominantly black town of Wrightsville, Arkansas. The horrific event brought attention to the deplorable conditions in which the boys lived. The boys all slept in a space barely big enough for them to move around, at only one foot apart from one another, and their bathroom was a bucket at the corner of the bed where they were forced to defecate. Boys between the ages of 13 and 17 who were orphaned, homeless, or considered delinquent because of extremely minor crimes were sent to live at NBIS. The night of the fire at NBIS, the boys' dormitory was completely abandoned by staff members and was locked from the outside as it was each night, making it impossible for 21 of these black teenagers to escape. While 48 of the black teenagers in the dormitory that night managed to break their way out of the burning building, by jumping out of a window, 21 teenagers remained trapped and burned to death. A committee investigated the fire, but no one was ever held responsible. Family members of some of the boys killed in the Wrightsville fire gather at a memorial ceremony in 2019. Today, the Arkansas Department of Corrections runs an adult prison called the Wrightsville Unit on the land where NBIS was formerly located. Though black people make up only 15% of the population of Arkansas, they constitute 42% of the prison population, including 38% of the population in the Wrightsville Unit.